What is What's up? up, everybody? How's it going, all you awesome yes. people? Yes. And I know we say this uh, quite a bit, but we believe it and we know it to be true that you are amazing and yes, awesome. Yes, you are. Yes, and so, you are. Even though you hear from us a lot, mm. uh, <laughs> We believe it and we yeah. mean it. And yeah. so that's why we say it. So you have incredible value. Here's to you Come guys. On. Cheers. Yes, cheers. So uh quickly as yeah. we get started, today we are doing a little book review. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But uh yes. just wanted to let you know so that you can stick around, check it out with us. Uh yes. unless you know you're like me and you want to come back later and watch, watch the, the replay watch the replay so you can speed it up three times speed <laughs> uh, that's how i work best when i am watching something you know youtube facebook i like to come back later and actually speed it up like speed so it up I can, times two you do or what uh it depends who's who's talking oh, who's talking you know cannot, if, if, like, they, if they talk fast 1.5 <laughs> Um, but if I can get to two, I'm always trying to, to push it where it cuts down the time, but right, I can right. still I hear you. and understand what's you. being said. I do. So. I try to do as well, but then I have to do it on my computer and then, um, I'm normally on like 150, but every now and then I have to put it back to 125 because I was like, what was that? <laughs> you see, sometimes when we try, I'm like, hey, hey here's something good I, I saw or a good training. We should watch it together. And then I'm like, you know, can I bump up the speed for you? And she's like, no, 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 slow it down. So put it back to normal. When something is good, it's like rewind and slower because I got to hear it, right? That's how it is for me anyway. And of course, some of that difference is in, in personality. For me, the audio, yeah. listening, like I perceive yeah. a lot where people are going. So I'm putting the pieces together as well. It's too much listening or having to sit and watch. Like I'm trying to go. And you, yeah. you like to be a part of that interaction, see people. Like if we're watching something and I can get rid of the picture, uh, if it's a training, and I don't necessarily need to look at the person just sitting there talking and I'll do whatever. But you're like, hey, I want to see the person. I yes. want to see the facial yes. expressions and whatever. And I'm like, anyway, yeah. I just want to hear what they have to say. <laughs> and if, if I can walk or do something and listen right. and not have to look at the screen, that's better for me. Right. And I do that too, but I, I, I actually like it more to then just be fully engaged. Right. But anyway, but, thank you for joining us, guys. Yes. So, uh, a book review is a little bit different than what we normally do, and you could say, why a book review? Uh, but for us, of course, we are, are super passionate about mm -hmm. you understanding, you know, who Father God is, yes. who yes. you are, you know, how yes. he sees you, yes. and then um, showing up in all that you are so that the world can experience the goodness, the glory, Yes. of God and so uh, you through you you right to change the world make the world That's a better place you all that goodness that you are amazing and that you are gr great right. just like him you know you don't need to know all the things that are not perfect yet or whatever right sure you need to walk in that that amazingness the knowledge of it the confidence of it the, right all of that which you hear from us a lot, right? But uh, so we want to bring you things and tools and avenues yeah. that is yeah. going to inspire that and release that from you. Yes. And so we wanted to do a book review today on, uh, well, camera's on the side. Yeah. Scandalous Love. Scandalous Love. Rediscovering the authentic gospel that repels the religious and attracts the brokenhearted mm. by Zach. Wexler. Wexler. All right. Yes. Um, and so we just we just got this book last week, a week ago. Yeah. And you just finished it. I just you finished just read it. it. Yeah. I did not read it yet. That's really why he wants to do the book review because he wants to 
hear all about it and no, no. no I'm joking he actually for me reading, reading books more yes. than, uh, than I like to read book lover. when that's the thing when it's yeah. an audio or or something that I have to yeah. listen to I try to get the the condensed version from Esther of course she gives me the um Very large, dear. <laughs> large condensed version <laughs> and that's the truth. but when it when it comes to reading I'm normally the yes. one that would yes. read it and she's like hey can you give me some but anyway we got this book a week ago in our household it doesn't work well for us to read the same book at the same time because and this is how it goes i'll find a book that i'm into and in reading and esther will see it and get triggered and because she's like yeah. for her the visual the scene you eat something read something that inspires her and triggers something that she's like i want to read that so yes, i'll get a book like i'll that. start reading it and suddenly i'll like find it somewhere else and another no, book you can't find it, it and, and then once you find it there's like several markers in there of me where i'm reading and i'm like what's going on oh yeah i, I saw that book and i thought it'd be awesome to read and i'm like i'm reading that one so we we got this book last week you started yes. reading it yes. so i did not read it because i don't want to read the same thing at the same time you are right and you work with what triggers you so yes. um I'm going to ask you some questions yeah. today. We are going to have a discussion, and I look forward to reading this as well. I'll be yeah. starting that. I'm wrapping up another book, and I'll be starting this one soon. But, um, you know, can you just give us, without going into all the details and stuff, uh, you're an experienced person, so your experience just with the book for you, uh, then we will talk a little bit about some of the details. But Yeah, well, it says scandalous love, right? That's like not just love but love in a way you would not always expect it or it's not always approved or uh, whatever right so that right off the bat already is a little bit of a um risque risky not risque risky <laughs> oh my word wrong word wrong word people risky title uh, but it really just very um, easy and simple way of who the father is, how much he loves you, and how he sees you, and um, yeah, so what that does to you. That's the main part of yes. the book. But I was asking you for your experience, not yeah, like how did you ex in like one sentence. You read this book. Like it was amazing. It okay. was amazing. That's what, that's it what was I was like for. it was like reading all the all the the experiences and encounters and revelations and freedom uh I've been experiencing, you know, for the last couple of years in my relationship with the father. Sure. Knowing him more and um yeah. So it was amazing. You heard it there. <laughs> that was the experience. Awesome. And of course, you got into a little bit of the main points already. Yeah, yeah sorry. The, the... I, I always, I'm five steps ahead. That's a point, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. So uh, I pulled up a couple questions here yeah. and we're just look, look at that. Um, so just on the practical side, did you find the book easy to read yes, before we dig into that? Yes, it's a very easy read. Yeah, and I know very that's that's part of something we discussed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course, when you don't necessarily like to read, right. um, and you read it out of read out of more yeah. necessity or things that really are triggering triggering to you, uh, you like things that are easy to read that flow and come easily. So yeah. you said this was definitely an easy read, right? Yeah, and I mean it, it touches on some things like uh, uh, historically some things. Um, theologically like just the things you believe about god right but not in a i mean it's just super simple and so it's a it's a really easy read in in easy everyday conversation language cool. which is perfect for me because you you lose me with big words <laughs> <laughs> all right so what was your favorite part of the book Oh, that okay. So there was not one favorite part. Yeah, I'm going to have you pull out a couple points later. So yes. on, on this question, if you could try to. Write. Yes. So um, I so what I love the most about 
the book as a whole is how Zach shows different um, points of view to stories that are very well known, like the woman at the well, um, the prodigal son, um, the good Samaritan. Um, he, he shows perspectives and who Jesus is in the, in the stories and what he's pulling that are not your normal, probably not what you've heard sure. preached uh, in the pulpit of your normal, whatever, church, church life. Sure. So it makes you think. And that's what I love. That's what I loved. So I loved what he did about the woman at the well and right. showed a different perspective. But the one that really stood out to me okay. was the Good Samaritan, okay. the story. And asking who was Jesus in the story and even seeing Father, Son and Holy Spirit in the story. And I've always read that a lot of times reading it like i need to be better i need to be like the good samaritan i need to be the person that doesn't just you know is selfish or, or walk past somebody or you know i just need to and i um, mean he sure he yeah i loved his view. that out. was my um one of my favorite chapters chapter nine chapter nine chapter nine <laughs> So then um, the next question is, which point or approach has stuck with you the most? And again, I know you just finished it. You're processing through. I mean, it's fresh off. I think yeah, yesterday or fresh. last night you finished it up, right? Mm -hmm. Last night. Yeah. So um, some of these might overlap a little bit, but is there a point or an approach that um, viewpoint of the, of the whole book, whatever it is, you know? Um, so, I mean, you, you I'm, I am going to have you read some pass, me, passages. Yes, so yes. If, if it helps the time in the, the next question, are there any standout sentences yeah. okay. uh, or points? Yeah. yeah. So he talks about the gospel and what the gospel really is, the real gospel, well, whatever you heard. So, um, if you share a line or two, Max, you know, babe, <laughs> <He's like, laughs> keep it condensed, keep it condensed, babe, don't go into all the, you know, whatever. So he, he points out two things of the gospel and how you have heard it, whether you don't have worth. So Jesus died for you to give you worth and now you're lovable. So you don't have to experience hell forever because you're believing Jesus. Yay. Or it's not about you. It's only about him, about Jesus. Empty yourself and be cleansed vessel of nothing but Jesus. Your only value is in your nothingness. Listen, if any of that sounds familiar to you, that you recognize when I was reading that, I was like, yeah, well, both those two combined pretty much sums up what you know, I grew up on and, you know, um, being the person that I am and that, that comes through a lot too in our message right. of, um, seeing greatness in everyone and everything and potential and just goodness. Right. But also always seeing that in myself and, and, um, valuing that about myself, but I always felt like, that was not what I was supposed to be doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little so, too much, you core, know? One of the core messages, and it, and it touched on there, is empty yourself out because there's right. not anything good in you. And, you know, yes. Um, let, let God shine through or Holy Spirit shine through because there's nothing good in you. And the foundation of that, it comes from yeah. kind of the, the mindset, I'm not acceptable to Father except for Jesus like made me acceptable. And if right. it wasn't for yes. Jesus and his blood, like father would hate me. 
Yes. Even though we may not so, always put I that would in the not, words. I would but. never say it in those words. That, right. That's always something for me. I never, when I thought of father, I never uh, viewed him um, as mad or, you know. There were just parts that I didn't get, right? That just didn't add up. And so he loves me so much. I'm created in his image and likeness. That makes me a pretty big deal. But I can't see myself as a big Are deal. Are you a big deal? I, I'm a big deal. You are a big deal, <laughs> yes. man. I'm telling you. you but I can't deal. see myself as a yeah. big deal. See? And so there was always this a little bit of disconnect. So he has so yeah, what else? he put the worth of anything is the price the buyer is willing to pay. Hello. Wow. Hello. Yep. I Ooh. mean, that was the biggest price ever. And the cross does not make us valuable. That's another one. It proves we are valuable. And I'm telling you, Jesus had something with the Samaritans. I realized that in this book, I'm like the Samaritan woman at the well, the, Samar the good Samaritan. And then, you know, anyway. And in culture, you see just that's the scandalous love, right? In culture, Jesus did things, said things, hung out with people. Just that sure they can hear your mouth. Oh, or sorry. That to the culture of that day, to the understanding of that day, especially to the religious people of that day that believed in God, it was like shocking. Like not just... Uh, it, that's like, that's borderline. No, 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 it wasn't borderline. It was shocking. It was like, like getting into somebody's mess. And so the value and the worth is not when you choose to finally find him of value. Uh, 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 uh. You had value before that all, you know? And so that's really... What he talks about, awesome. that's the, the red line in here that the worth you have, it the cross proves that you felt valuable, you know? And so, anyway. Yep. Did I you have w another one more? Did you um, have one more mark that you wanted to see. read quickly? I did the, the, um, um, the last chapter. I also really love that. It talks really about the Abba of Jesus. That's what the chapter is called. But the primary work of the Spirit is to help us understand deep within us that we are beloved sons and daughters. So Holy Spirit always speaks to your identity and that you are, whether you know it or not. That value, that worth is there whether you know it or not. I'm not, I'm not going to preach, but that's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and it, not, it, that's what my husband wants to pull out here because I'm like, babe, seriously, you got to hear this. And then I'm like, you know, because I don't want you to stay in my thinking that he is everything. Because when you realize who he is, you immediately need to discover who you are because... Because it's connected, right? It's connected. It's connected. Yeah. You and him one and i mean he didn't, oh i'm yeah. not gonna go there but he talks yeah. about trinity too which is like amazing yeah, i'm going to pump the brakes here yeah, yeah because yeah. that that's going i have a few on. more questions i have a few more questions and go you know ahead, uh just fyi uh, we will drop the link in here yeah. try to find where yeah. you can get the book this is not a referral link uh no. again this no. is just a we resource just a tool that it. we're like hey this is going to empower you change your life to yeah. be all that you you know, empower you to be all that you can be. So check And it not out. just the people that don't know. Like, he shares some of his own story of being uh, an orphan. And I related to that so much. But when he was a pastor in right. the street, Having an, or an orphan mindset. An orphan yes. mindset. Yes. And needed a bigger revelation of who Abba Father was. Yeah. Somebody else? Me. All right. Did you reread any passages? Um, yes, I did. I I, actually, I'm not going to go back no. and have you 
read them, but yeah. No, yeah, the woman, the woman at the well, I really, yeah, I loved his perspective, and I wanted more of that. Okay, what, what chapter is that? In? Uh, that's think? chapter five, I think. Okay, I believe. So get the book and check out chapter I mean, five. That, that's really, <laughs> and actually, most people like for me, it was a Samaritan because there was something about that. That for me personally, sure. but most people chapter five will rock your boats. <laughs> All right. So what feelings did this book invoke for you? Um, <clears throat> feelings of belonging thingy, feelings of, uh, worthiness of all things I know, but it's just, again, um, the, the, the pull of my heartstrings of him, sure. um, the lover of my soul, and yeah, that 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 really that that he when when Jesus got baptized, and um, the Father says, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased," and that's the Holy Spirit came. So, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He says the same words about me without me having to do one single thing. Why? Because I'm his daughter, not because of anything I did or not because of any choice I made. Listen, but because I'm his, that, that the, the, the prodigal son, the father, He's proud of me regardless, you know? Yeah. I'm proud of my children regardless. Because <laughs> they're my children. Anyway. Cool. Was there anything that surprised you about the book? Um, not, not surprise is not the right word, but I loved, oh. um, the again, the woman at the well, the perspective that he brought. Okay. I had never thought of it. And I love it because it's so easy to to read it with a um, more of a critical view, I got you. which I did. Yeah, sure. You know, so that was it, it, uh, it wasn't a surprise, but it was like, oh, I like that. Like, I like got that. All right. I like when it, when it, <laughs> something challenges me and it makes me think. You know. So if you could ask Zach a question. <laughs> What's one question you would ask him? So it says, oh, if you could boy. ask the author anything, what would it be? But um, if you okay. could ask Zach a question, what would it be? If you I could ask Zach a question. Um... Wow. Okay. <laughs> So as you think about that, yeah. the, the next question is, would you ever consider rereading it? Yes. I would say yes, because I know for you, a couple of these books that are really like, it, yeah. it won't be everything, but a few of these that yeah. trigger you like and hit you like this one did, you would definitely be rereading it. So I can answer that it, question already. Um, yeah. Listen to it. This is what I do, right? Then I find something or someone that... Um, it's the same sound that I hear that is like touching me right here. Right. So then I go check them out and I'm like, you know, uh, even on social media and stuff. So do and that. Go, and of course, go follow. thank you uh, to our friends, Dub Alexander yes. from School of Kingdom yep. uh, for introducing yes. Zach. Mm -hmm. He brought Zach yeah. uh, in to do a Sorry, session. Sorry, Zach, I didn't hear about you before that. A session in School of Kingdom. Oh, and so that good. School of Kingdom is an also, also a great resource that uh, we believe in that empowers people to change the world. So anyway, another shameless plug there just because we yeah. love the resources oh, that yeah. are empowering people. Oh, yeah. And uh, we Do love... Do you want to go real deep about some of the things that shake? We love what Dub, what Dub is doing there. Yeah, go, yes. Go join us, okay. All right. Who, who do you want uh, most or who do you most want to read this book? Who do I most want to read this book? Um, people 
I, I would love everybody to read this book because I think this would be even really good for um, people that are intimidated by reading the Bible, you know, because it's, it's sometimes a difficult language, depending on which translation you read, but it's like, you know, it's not always as sure. easy to read. So this really talks about the good news and the gospel. So it's a good book for everybody. But I would, anybody that has ever, that is a believer that has dealt with orphan, who would say that's all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and the, people like me, like, like. Sure, so, you know, if you feel like there's potential, there's greatness, there's a yeah. value in who you are, but you haven't been able to engage that and you feel like, you know, maybe there is there something wrong with me, but I feel like there's not, but whatever that contradiction, you know, yeah. boom, definitely to help you understand your, your sonship, your belonging, your yeah. value, who you are as a son or daughter yeah. and uh, your origin from father, your value there, right? So okay. I believe even more people like that even more need, need to um, have your have your certain mindsets and thinkings challenged because that's just a good thing to do to make you think you know and see maybe maybe it's not maybe maybe you know have these mindsets changed and um, but I think there's always a uh, um, a deeper um, or a bigger invitation, right? An invitation sure. to to know him in a deeper way, more intimate way, um, in places where, I mean, he is unending. <laughs> so there's always a part of him that I don't, you know, didn't see yet or don't know. And so, cool. Yeah. All right. So what did you Google or research while reading this book? What did you, so not, maybe not necessarily Google. I, again, I pulled a list of questions. They say, what did you Google? But what did you go research while reading this book? You really want to go there? Don't no, I don't want to go like I, I in there. The, I just the like, thing I really love what did you? too. And he, he touches very lightly on it, but it's the word perichoresis. And that talks about the Trinity. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, um, unity and diversity. Okay, so the connection, and, uh, the relationship. And, and the relationship those three have with each other, that we are invited in that. Cool. I, I've been chewing on that. And that really stood out to me as well in a... Um, what do I believe about that and how and how, where do I see myself and, and how he sees me in there. That's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a very small, small paragraph about that. Um, uh, but yeah, that was Ooh. good. That, that I went and Googled it, see what other people are saying about it. Um, and I'm still chewing on it. Awesome. It's a powerful thing. Yeah. All right, so that kind of brings me to the end of the questions. This book is amazing. I look forward to reading yes. it. But I want to revisit the one. Uh, again, since you had a little bit of time, I know we were talking, but you can think and talk a little bit at the same time or whatever. Do you have, did you think of a question you would ask Zach, ask the author? Um, yeah, for me, I would love to hear more of his personal journey and I mean he did share some but like of having gone having walked and seen father in a certain view and then um that orphan you realize you realize that you've been an orphan in your father's house right and so uh, that changes everything and um, 
I would love to hear more about his process okay. in that. So what was your process in realizing you were an orphan realizing... or transitioning from orphan to son? What, what, yeah. if I could, if I could clarify your question, what would that, which point would you? Uh, you need to read the book and ask him a question. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like want to hear more, like, you know, about sure. that and, um, yeah. More of the story, more of the experience, more of the process. Yes, yeah. yes. Cool. That's really, you know, that awesome. I, speaks to me. Again, Scandalous Love by Zach uh, Wexler. Wexler. I, I needed to make sure I got yes. the last name correct there. Yes. You know, uh, so go check it out if you haven't already. Let it transform your life. Again, I yeah. look forward to reading it. Thank you, uh, Nikki, Dad. My dad's on here and anyone else is joining. What's Watching up? Watching the replay, yep. what's up? And I mean, he, um, he used to pastor a church in Las Vegas, pastors a church in New York. Uh, so if you're in that area, you know, go right. yeah. encounter, I think. Encounter, encounter New York. New York. Yeah. Sure. And why. again, we'll drop the link uh, mm -hmm. for the book so it's easy for you to find. But yes, you are amazing. Continue to embrace all that you are, all that who Father is, all he says you are. Yes, and if you read the book, let us know what your takeaways were, what, you know. I've yeah. Already, I, I posted it on my personal profile, and, and pe different people are reading it or just got it, and so I would love to hear what stood out. That's why he was like, let's, let's talk about the book. I'm like, dude, you didn't read it. I want to, like, have a conversation, like, okay, so what stood out to you? Oh, okay, yeah, no, and I saw this, right? I don't want to. I, I wanted that, to right? facilitate it from your side <laughs> as someone who doesn't know anything about it and right. asking questions. And right. So maybe there needs like to, to be a part two once <laughs> part he two, read once the I book read. that we talk about some things. Ah, that's a good idea. Maybe, oh. maybe we can invite Zach. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the question I would ask. Yeah. What's up, Zach? Would, would you, you like to have a conversation? Come and have a, have a conversation with us about your book. That would be awesome. You're, 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 anyway. Of course, you like more people, so you're always looking to add <laughs> people to our show. And we need to do some more of that, yeah. for sure. Anyway, but awesome. this is good. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well done, babe. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Yes. And we'll talk to you next week. See ya. Cheers.